It's your boy DJ Kane, DJ C A Y D. That's me back again with another video. And I got to talk about wedding DJs. <sighs> a couple of my homies have told me what they have been offered to play weddings. And I've seen what these wedding DJ companies are offering DJs to do full blown weddings. And I'm highly disappointed in a way. If you are like an experienced DJ, you've been doing this for decades and you're still getting paid just a couple hundred dollars to do a full blown wedding. You're setting the mood for the special night, one night of a lifetime type thing, and you're just getting paid a couple hundred dollars. You might be cutting yourself short. Yes, I get it. The DJ talent event company, they make things easy for you. All you got to do is tap in, show up. They tell you what to play, tell you what to play, what to wear, whatever. You just show up, do whatever you got to do. Hell, I think some of them even give you the music and the DJ equipment. You just show up. I get it. But you could be cutting yourself short if you have years of experience. If you're a beginner, intermediate, yes, I get it. You should be playing for damn near pennies to get your feet wet. But again, go ahead and grab that bag. It's going to take extra work. OK, and it's going to take a different mindset. Trust me, it's going to be risky and you're going to be liable for a lot of things, but you can do it. If you feel like you want to make more money in the wedding corporate type things and do things yourself you're gonna have to start your own business and yes get the llc the whole thing you've been hearing online from all these social media gurus i get it to do that go to irs.gov do not go to a dot com website unless you want to go through a middleman and give your information out to another business website dot gov is where you want to get it yes you're gonna have to read and read and read and read it's a lot of reading on there i get it especially if it's your first time take the time do the reading thoroughly the first time and you will understand it plain and simple is done okay and you'll save giving out your information and you'll save money irs.gov once you get that you can get your ein right entity identification number and then you can start paying taxes on the income you get from your business the website will tell you all the steps you need to track your payments document your payments and to file your taxes trust me if you got a homie that's a cpa i mean it could be your homie but make sure you get a homie that got some experience because you don't want to get some motherfucker that fucks up your shit when you are first in this all right you don't want to get dings from the beginning especially when you're just starting off Get somebody that has some experience. If they don't know, tell them to forge you somebody that do have experience, right? Yes, you're going to need to get insurance for your business. I personally use Canopy. I'm giving y'all the sauce for free. Some of it. I'm going to give y'all some of the sauce. I'm going to give you all of it because y'all got to subscribe to One's Two's Podcast. But anyway, or sign up for a class. But anyway, Canopy is what I use. There's plenty of different insurance companies. I mean, hell, I don't know, maybe even stay far. I don't know, but I use Canopy. I've been using it for years. Insurance is what you need because you never know what's going to happen. Playing with the DJ Entertainment Company, they handle that all for you. But if you can do it yourself, again, take the time to read it. You will save yourself some money. By that, I mean you can make a lot more money, right? You're going to need to get your own equipment, all right? And you're going to need to get insurance on that equipment if you want to make sure you have equipment. Uh, insurance for that in the future because you stuff breaks you know stuff gets lost it happens it's an investment buy your own lights buy your own casing you should have your own dj equipment already right? you should already have turntables and cases for that already the speakers invest in some speakers all right get some wires some cords that's going it's going to it's going to cost some money this ain't like a no walk in the park it's going to cost some money i got a whole equipment set up and i guarantee you it's 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 like not cheap at all all right it's probably gonna be at the cost of a of a of a good sized car all right so it's an investment if you want to do this long term because once you put in the marketing it could pay itself back possibly again it's a business it's an entrepreneurship it's not guaranteed but it's a possibility that you can do it if you don't know how to work the equipment look if you've been doing the weddings just watch what's going on see how they're rolling up the cords rolling up the cords is very important underhand rolling you know, making sure cables are wrapped good. That's gonna keep your cables fresh, all right? And, and not have them all disorganized, stuff like that. Pay attention to how they're doing it at the gigs you're working at. If you are in college and you go to concerts, stay after the concert, ask questions, figure out how to set audio boards, right? It's not as hard as you think it is. Like you're not mastering some Dr. Dre 
mixtape. You're just getting the audio set where it needs to be. Okay, so because some people think the mixing and mastering when it comes to live shows, if it's just a wedding, okay, you're not doing a band and a and a DJ. If you're just doing your own DJ stuff, the mixing board you can learn that fairly quickly if you pay attention to somebody who's experienced. Is again, you're not mixing mastering a Dr. Dre mixtape. It ain't gonna be super rocket science. Um, but again, you can do it. Um, trust me, when you first start off doing this with the insurance and the, the contract forms, you know, you get your template set, whatever. Again, I can show you all this if you email me and you sign up for a class with me, I can show you. But again, if you start off doing this, you will run into some dings here and there. I did, and yeah, you'll get some back and forth, some people that maybe want to take you to court, maybe want to defame you it happens but bro at the end of the day just keep learning and move on minimize your mistakes move on okay all the help you need for this bro you can literally go on craigslist you can go to college find these little music kids who are looking for you know toss them a few dollars and get them to help you out rolling cords and stuff you can do this because i'm tired of seeing y'all that got experience doing these weddings getting paid 100 bro one dude got 100 150 to do a wedding bro you gotta be freaking kidding me okay now again if you're a, like a novice or intermediate bro that's kind of where you should be but if you're expert level stack your bread up and if you really want to go that route like if you really know you're really serious yeah take out a business loan i don't really advocate for the business loan make sure you if you take out a business loan to invest into a business make sure you have extra money on that to really hunker down on that marketing i <laughs> hunker down that's that wichita fault but hunker down on that marketing because if you ain't got no business coming in it ain't no money coming in which means when them loan payments come up you're gonna get dinged that credit gonna get fucked up all right so that's one thing you don't want to mess up is your credit because credit is a big key to, su to success and once you fuck up your credit history is history I work with databases and even if you get your credit up again, history is history. When they saw that you had that dip, bro, that's never going away. Trust me. Even if they say, oh, you're back up to the whatever. Let's say hypothetically you dropped to like 500 and you got back up to like 850 in like a span of like a year. Cool. Congratulations. But they still see that dip on your credit. And I guarantee you, somebody that's really seriously trying to invest in somebody, they be like, damn, what if you dip again? So look, bro, watch your credit. Be careful. If you take out these loans, be ready to eat shit. If you know it might be a chance you will fuck up the money, all right? So yes, yeah, your boy DJ Kane. I just want to get on here, man, because, bro, I know the economy is getting kind of weird over time. Prices are going up, and I feel like it's folks out here really getting the money more and more money income and it's folks out here staying stagnant or either kind of you know losing a little bit of money right y'all getting taxed y'all still making good money but y'all getting taxed more and these people up here they're kind of you know but it's okay we all have to start down here and eventually get up there but the thing is if you know you want to stick in an industry and kill that industry you want to focus on getting up here and that's going to take risk like i said having to do things yourself and look man giving up is way harder than trying man i don't know you don't want things to be easy all the time because if things are easy for you all the time bro you're not gonna make a lot of money and i know it's djing music oh i love music music is my passion yeah i get it but bro all this equipment in here didn't come for free i mean this took some dollars to get this shit all right so let's be um realistic all right but anyway it's your boy dj k if y'all got any questions make sure to sign up I'm going to fix the link on my website if it's not fixed. I was on there this morning and it was kind of having issues but whatever. But you could just email me if you got any questions and you can sign up for a DJ consultation, DJ class, whatever. I'm going to take care of you. It's your boy DJ K and I'm out. Yee!